We thought they would. And Terry is with us this morning in the studios of, of ABC in Los Angeles. And with him, of course, Mrs. Bradshaw, JoJo Starbuck. And they are joined there as well by Dan Lovett of ABC News. Good morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's a great feeling. I'll bet it is. Of course, we probably look a little rough right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look really well, and we sure appreciate you getting up so early because it's like three hours earlier out there in Los Angeles to be with us. We didn't have to get up. We were up. <laughs> you were up. Oh, well, I won't ask you what kinds of celebrating you were doing immediately before. But what I would like to say is that is thank you to the Steelers and to the Rams for a heck of a game out there. It really was wonderful for all the fans. But it turned out a lot tougher than, than what some people thought for the Steelers to beat the Rams, wasn't it, Terry? Well, it was a tough game. We had thought all along that it would be one of the better ones because of uh, several reasons. Uh, the uh, home field advantage for the Rams, they had played well. They would won eight out of their last nine games. They had had the momentum going into the playoffs, and uh, we had never beaten them. There was a kind of a, a doubt on our part whether we could, you know, could beat the Rams. Mm -hmm. uh, they seemed to really have uh, the confidence and uh, you know, quite honestly, I, I had my doubts. And so we got to the game, and uh, it pretty much bared out all my feelings in the first three quarters. Yeah. Fourth quarter, we finally took control of the game and, and put it away. You sure took control. But, Terry, were there times there in the first through the third quarters where you, you wondered whether you're going to be able to pull it out? Well, every time I threw those interceptions, uh, I was hey. <laughs> Well, you know, it got uh, a little costly. I got real concerned when we when we had the good drive going, Sandy, and got down, and uh, I threw the interception when we were going in. We could have at least gotten a field goal that would have put us on top, yeah. uh, 20 to 19 or 21 to 19. 20 we made it 20 to 19. Yes. I was concerned because I didn't want to come away without any points, and I gave up the big interception. I had some strong doubts right there that uh, we may we may be in a lot of trouble. Terry, Sam, can I, uh, let me just ask Jojo, Dan, whether she was anxious and what she thought when he threw those interceptions, her man, when he did that. <laughs> well, he told me earlier, earlier that he would do a few just for fun, just to keep <gasps> it exciting. No, did not I really. say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, the highs are so high and the, and the low parts are so scary the emotions are just riding so high all the way around for everyone, not just for one of the wives. We were hysterical, but for all the fans, I think. Sandy, you know, I don't think a lot of us really caught the emotion that was involved with this club, the Steelers, especially in that game yesterday. Uh, I guess we all thought maybe it was a home ho hum attitude you have taken, no. but there was some emotion involved. No, I think it was. Uh we wanted to win so badly, and you make a mistake, and you learn this old lesson a lot in life. It's, I mean, you want something so badly, and you get yourself geared up for it, and you, you can't, you don't let your your uh, your natural abilities take over when you don't relax. And I think we were a little bit uptight. I don't think we played the the aggressive type of football that we were accustomed to playing. I know I didn't throw the football worth a hoot, and I just don't believe that our football team played as well as it could have played. And uh, you know, we wanted this game more than any game I've ever been associated with. And I asked Terry this, Sandy, after the game, as a matter of fact, in the locker room. A lot of people probably consider now that you have won the fourth Super Bowl, that the Pittsburgh Steelers have surpassed the Green Bay Packers as the most <laughs> dominant team in the history of pro football. And what did I tell you? He said no. <laughs> and why? Because you well, feel... Well, they have the record. They have... They have won uh, five championships, and we've won only four, so we have one more to go to tie them, one more to beat them. That's a lot. It's going to be hard to do. There's another thing. They were all crowding around Terry in the locker room naturally last night as the MVP again of the Super Bowl, saying, will you be back? Is this it? Are you going to quit? At 31, come on, Gordy House skating at 51. The guy's not going to quit. Well, I'm not. I... I, I want to put to rest any doubts out there, you know, that uh, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. To play well, Terry, let me say, le this morning in the paper here, you know, you're quoted as saying that, that you really want to go back and search and see whether true. you can get charged up again for football. That's can, true. Can you share any of your thoughts about that with us this morning? Well, it's a very, it's, a, it's, it's such a demanding game, Sandy, and, and repeating as champion had such a drain on me. And, you know, I said, I said quite honestly, I'm sick and tired of football. I meant that. Uh, three or four months, I want to be charged up and excited about playing again, which is the only way that I can play the game. And uh, if that's the case, then, I, which I'm sure I will be. Right now, I'm, a, I'm the worst time in the world to talk to me about football. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be ready to play, I'll assure you that.
That's like A.J. Foyt after winning his fourth 500 wanting to retire, but he'll be back to race for the That's fifth right. one. Can you imagine, JoJo, uh, what life would be like with Terry Bradshaw if he didn't have football? She'd love it. I, <laughs> it, I think I'd have more of his attention, but I don't know. I'm sure with all this energy, he'd divert it into something different. But one thing I can tell you is that I've been with Terry for three Super Bowl wins, and it never gets easier. It gets more difficult and more draining each time, I think. Are you for helping you him? Too? For, for me, too? Yes, because when it is for him, it transfers by osmosis, I guess. It's tough. <laughs> Sandy, are you ready for Terry's singing career? Terry is singing? Yes, let Sandy me show you. I was a great gospel. Singer. We're What's gonna, he, oh, gosh, I forgot. Art. I'm sorry. We're going to do some gospel <laughs> How can I songs for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think boy, the album boy. is coming out uh, in the spring. Sometime. Yeah, it'll be out in the yeah. spring. Terry, we will yes, do, dear. this will be our next piece. We will okay. have you sing, and we will great. do it in a rink with JoJo on the ice, <laughs> putting her own kind of orchestration, too. I'm sure you're in imitals, in imitable style of music. Oh, well, it, my, my style is that word, whatever that word. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, too. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you, right. Sandy. See you soon. We're going to be back. I'm of the Super Steelers. It's been many years in coming. Now keep the Steelers machinery coming. Intercept that ball. Defense, defense makes the Steelers win the Super Bowl. Joe Green, Lambert, 